Hi, I'm Trevor Blumenow from Voodoo Robotics. I wanted to take an opportunity in this video to show you how you can use one device for multiple locations in Odoo. Uh, you can see in the array behind me over here, we have 12 devices, and they're each assigned on a one-to-one -one basis with their location. But it is possible, for example, to use like this device for not only this location, but the, the, the location below it. Let me show you how we would do that in Odoo. So if I go into Odoo, you can see right now, this is location C4. That is this location down here uh, with the device that I'm going to remove. And it's very simple. I can go in here and just edit that device ID and take that device ID out, right? And in its place, I'm gonna just use my handy dandy scan gun over here, and I'm gonna scan the device above it, right? now. This location, C4, is actually uh, in such an orientation that the device is above that location, right? So now, as soon as I hit save over here, right, we'll go back and you can actually see that this device now says location unassigned. So we can take that device away. And this, now in the static mode, says various, because it doesn't have a single location associated with it it's more than one, one location, right? So now, uh, if we go and create a transfer, let's create a transfer inside Odoo. And uh, let's see here, we'll just create a new transfer and we'll just say uh, an internal transfer and we're gonna go from the source location to let's say C4, okay? And let's just transfer in something Let's do lime water. Whoops. There we go. Lime water. And we'll say we need 10 of them in that location, right? And now if we save that, uh, we can mark it as to do. And now uh, if we activate the lights for that pick, you'll see that now this device actually points down with the arrow, right? It's telling me to pick downward from this location rather than upward in that location. Let me go back into this uh, transfer. Uh, let me acknowledge that, by the way. Let me just push the button to get rid of that message. And if I change this now to B4, right, inside my transfer, I get a little warning message there, that's okay. And now I activate the lights. Notice what happens now. Now I get an up arrow. See that? It's telling me to put 10 of them now in this slot. So by using arrows, we can actually use fewer devices than we have slots. And you can set this up in any manner of ways. I mean, here I've just shown you a two to one ratio, but you can actually use arrows in all of the different directions, top, left, bottom, right, um, and in the corners as well, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Uh, you can really set them up any way you like. Now, of course, it becomes a little bit confusing for the pickers if you've got too many locations associated with one device. And you also lose the functionality of being able to show the static information for each location if you're sharing one device with multiple locations but it certainly is an option for you in deploying these devices and can have a very significant impact on the total cost of deployment.